What's up YouTube fam? Today I got another easy tutorial for you guys. I'll show you guys how to use the camera that you have at home, whether it's a smartphone, DSLR camera, or your point and shoot, and easily create in-camera transitions using it. You can use any editing program of your choice to easily put this together without any heavy editing. A big shout out goes out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Make sure to click on the link in the description down below to receive two free months of Skillshare Premium. But only the first 500 people to sign up will receive this offer. Now let's get this video started. You guys know how much I love using the masking tool on Final Cut Pro. Today we won't be using any of that. I want to show you guys some simple ways to create transitions using mostly just your camera. The first one is pretty simple. Let's call it the same movement transition. All you need to do is create some type of movement in your first scene and make sure you do the exact same movement to start the second scene. Here's one example. Here I'm outside just looking around at my surrounding. I look at my watch, shake my wrist a bit and then transition to the next clip. Basically, all you need to do is make sure that the ending of the first clip and the beginning of the second clip are in similar position and movement. The second one I want to show you guys is called the seamless transition. Basically, you move past an object in the first scene and then do the same thing in the second scene. But try to use a similar object in both scenes, such as the lamppost or a tree. But get creative and see what you can come up with. Place both of the clips side by side in your editing program. I will use Final Cut Pro in this example. Find the part where the scene passes by the object and fully covers the screen, then blade it off and delete the rest of the clip. Now grab your second clip and find the exact same point where it fully covers the screen again. Then blade off the rest of that clip. I will then add in the dissolve effect just to make the transition look a lot smoother. The last one I want to show you is called the wall pass transition. Start off by filming your subject or environment as your first scene. Then pan away by moving the camera across some type of wall. Do the same with the second scene, but with this one start off with the pan away of the wall and ending up with your subject or environment in the scene. Place both clips side by side when editing and connect the part where you are panning in both scenes. Also add in a dissolve transition to make it smoother if you need to. And guys, when you get the chance, make sure to check out this awesome course by Matty Brown on filming scene transitions. He goes very in depth and explains how to shoot and edit each of the transitions that he talks about. I love the strategies that he puts together for his students and how creative he gets just using his camera. Skillshare is such an amazing online platform with thousands of different classes in videography, photography, editing, storytelling that you can soak in and just apply it to your project. As a premium member, you get access to all these high quality classes from professionals so that you can improve your skills and apply it to all your current projects right now. And honestly guys, for less than $10 a month, it is definitely more affordable than most of the learning platforms out there. And again, don't forget guys, the first 500 people to sign up in the link down below will receive two free months of Skillshare Premium. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.